my rats don't like to go out of their cage um, when I want to play with them. How do I get them to come out? So what I do to, uh, you know, to get them to come out and play with me, now this is not that hard. Um, I just open up the door and that's it. Okay, open up the door. And I let them come out whenever they want to. I don't make them come out. I don't try to put my hand there or call them or try to, you know, tease them with some food or anything like that. I just open up the cage door and then, uh, you know, that's my home office. I'm working. I just open the door and go about my business. Now you'll see there's a couple of rats in here that are still in their hammocks. Um, maybe they'll come out, maybe they won't. I don't know. But you know what? I don't care. Because opening up the cage door and letting them come out is something I'm doing for their benefit, not mine. Because these guys, um, you know, they want to come out and play and explore and it's boring in their cage. Um, it's not big enough, uh, you know, for them to really fully exercise and do all the climbing and running and stuff that, you know, that they want to do, um, you know, um, and, uh, they want to come out, you know, this is, um, yeah, I mean, this, this is a gift. This is a treat, something that I'm doing for them to make them happy. Let's see. Now, I don't open up both cages at the same time because, uh, unfortunately, uh, BB and uh, Jimmy often fight. Uh, they're both kind of alphas, and they don't want to be uh, in the same area at the same time. Yeah, I mean, that's a thing, you know, just how it is. Okay, Jimmy. Yeah, every dang time he yeah, I put Chili there. See how he's trying to lick it? And he's like, God damn it, Jimmy. Why do you do this? Jimmy, don't, do not chew on that. Seriously. Do not, do not, no, no. Now, you see, Jimmy's an outgoing rat. He's a really naughty rat. Okay, you know what, Jimmy? Fine. Move it a little bit so it's harder for you to reach it. Ah, I'm just going to have to repaint that area. There's no other way around it. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy, can you still reach that? <laughs> yeah. I don't know why he's so attracted to that, but he just is. He just, he's obsessed. Oh, you stupid rat. Just, God damn it, Jimmy. You know I love Jimmy, but he is so irritating. He really is. <clears throat> okay. So, right Jimmy came out. He's uh, he's the outgoing one. The other two, Buddha and uh, what's her name? Uh, I guess Annie. They're not. Yeah, look at him. He's doing his little popcorning, little ratty dance. He's like, okay, how do I get down from here, Jimmy? Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Here you go. No, no. Oh, tried to nibble me. No. Damn it. Come here. Okay, fine. Yeah, right? Yeah, so that's great. That's probably what you want all of your rats to do. You open up the door, they come right out and play with you. Well, guess what? They don't all do that. No, they don't. See, these other two guys are still in there. Jimmy came out. Okay? I'm sorry. These guys are individuals. They have their own personalities. They have their own opinions. They don't comply with what you want for them. Okay, are you gonna, you're going to tell me, okay, that's a bad pet. Because he's not coming out when I open the door. And that's what I expect from him. Well, too bad. I guess. Don't get a real pet then. You know, eventually you'll be able to buy a robot rat on Amazon. I guarantee you, they will come out and call come when they're called and do whatever you want them to do because they're robots and will be programmed to do it. These are real animals. 
They have real feelings and real opinions. They do not do whatever you ask them to do. Sorry. Okay. Um, I'm going to stop filming now. Um, and uh, when the other two uh, decide to come out, if they do, and I don't know if they will, they probably will, but I don't know, I will start this recording again. So how do I get Jimmy to play with me? Jimmy! Jimmy! Jimmy, Jimmy! Come on, Jimmy! Jimmy! Hey, buddy! Hey! See? That's a free-ranging rat. He's just here playing around on the ground. I called him. He came to me. What a good boy, Jimmy. What a good boy. No, don't do that. Yeah. All right, all right, that's fine. I don't, no, stop it. No. All right, so what about these other guys, huh? There's BB. Uh, I saw a little stinky. Now he's on top of the hammock. Remember, he was he was hiding inside there. Now he's on top. Why? Because, see, the top of the hammock is Jimmy's place, right? Jimmy's the top rat. Jimmy's not here. He's gone. So now this little critter can go on top. He's like, he's a boss now. Oh, there's BB. He really wants to come out. Yeah. You see the alphas, the brave alpha rats, you open the door, they tend to come out first. They're the bravest ones. The ones with the most self-confidence. You know, this little guy here, he's not the alpha, so Jimmy gets the preferred spot in the cage. Then, when Jimmy's not there, Okay, now Buddha can come and sit where Jimmy used to sit, right? Will Buddha ever come out of the cage? Yeah, probably. He's going to do it in stages, right? Jimmy's gone. Now he's in Jimmy's spot. He's enjoying that for a little while. Then later he'll probably come out. All right, there's Buddha. I didn't even see him come out of the cage. I was doing something else. And that's what, you know, what tends to happen because, you know, they take these additional um, steps, um, you know, to like, I mean, the, the ones that are like less self-confident and a little bit more shy, they basically wait until you're not watching and then they take some additional, uh, you know, steps to, to go out and explore and be brave. So now that he, now that I'm looking at him, he went back in his cage, you know, and that's okay. That's okay. Um, as long as you, if you make them feel like you're, like you want them to go out and you're trying to get them to go out, a lot of these rats, their immediate reaction will be, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna stay here in my cage where I feel safe because you're making me feel stressed right now. You're making me feel like this is not a safe space for me. You know? I mean, and it's funny because we understand this about humans. You know, like children or shy people, we understand that if you put them on the spot and make them feel like you want them to do something, like they must do it. That their immediate response will be to push back against that and not and not do it. <clears throat> and we understand this, this is how humans are, but why should you expect animals to be any different? Roof rats, they, some of them, like Jimmy, are brave and have big personalities and you know, they, they feel very self-confident and, and dominant. Um, and uh, they wanna, if they want to come out, they're going to come out. They're going to chew on the wall. They're going to, you know, steal your food and do whatever they feel they want to do at that moment. That's fine. But there's a whole range of behaviors in rats. 
And on the other end of that, you've got some rats that feel a little bit more shy, a little bit less confident of themselves, and you have to give them the space to feel safe and be willing to go out and, and, and uh, explore and express themselves or else they're just not going to do it. See that? He's going out again. Now if I went over there and tried to get him, he'll run right back in the cage. You know? And the more I try to catch him, when he's not feeling it, when he's not feeling confident, the more he's going to try to escape. You know, because he feels he has to. You know, so like, you get a, a shy person, the more you try to bring them out of their shell, the more they're going to feel like, I don't feel, I don't feel good about this, I don't feel safe. You're making me feel unsafe right now. And that's not allowing me you know, to do what you want me to do because I don't feel safe and comfortable to do it. I'm letting this rat in his own time come out of the cage and start exploring and he's doing it. Yeah. There you go, Buddha. And at some point, when he feels confident, he might come over to me and try to play with me. So let's see what happens. Yeah, the other girl's still there. And there she is. And there's a whole spectrum of behaviors. And usually girls are, they tend to be less confident than boys. And um, some boys are more confident than others. Some girls are more confident than others. There's a whole spectrum of behaviors and, and levels of bravery and all that. And, um, you know, that's just how it's going to be when you have pet roof rats. Um, some of them are going to be brave. Well, I mean, you know, hopefully you're going to get a brave one. Um, but I can't promise you. All right. Here you go, Jimmy. Back. Hey. All right. See you later, buddy. And finally, there's the little girl. Yep. Now she's coming out, and again, I didn't even see her come out of the cage, but there she is exploring, because I wasn't watching her. Yep, that's just how it works. You know, if you watch them and like expect and demand that they come out and play with you, they don't do it. If you just open up the cage and let them come out when they want to, then they do it. Now, if I were to go over there right now, she might run back in the cage or she might hide between the two cages. Um, I don't know. See, if I try to go over here, there she goes. And hide between the two cages. Yeah. Um, yeah, but, um, I mean, personally, I recognize that these guys, these guys have their own lives, they have their own desires, their own happiness or unhappiness, their own preferences, their fears, you know, all of that stuff, that they don't exist simply to make me happy they exist for the same reason that we all exist because we want to live we want to you know have a good life and feel safe and you know have things that that give us pleasure like like food like comfort like family um and they're no different from us they're just on a smaller scale and because they're animals and humans consider ourselves to be the superior masters of animals and animals exist at our pleasure we we don't feel that they have those right same rights that we do um that's what other people think but that's not what i think so if she doesn't feel like coming to me today 
that's okay. I don't, I don't demand that she does. I don't require it. She can come out and, and play and enjoy the, the freedom and exercise and, you know, mental stimulation and all of that that she can get from coming out and playing. And as long as she's not too destructive, um, I'm fine with that. And if she wants to spend time with me, she can. If she doesn't feel like it right now, she doesn't have to. Look at you. Hey. Yeah, why'd she run away? Because Jimmy, Jimmy scared her. He jumped up there. She's timid. She hears uh, loud noises or sees sudden movements. And uh, she goes back to her, her safe place. Her safe place is between the two cages. You know, she feels that she's uh, safe and protected there. So if something, if something scares her, then she, that's where she goes. Now if I try to stand up, there she goes. See? <clears throat> now some, again, I, I mean, I know from experience that somebody who has this little girl as a pet, they're going to look at that and they're going to say, this rat is no good. She's always scared of me. She won't go to me. She won't let me play with her, blah, blah, blah. I get it. Everybody wants one like Jimmy. They don't want one like Annie because Annie is shy. She's timid. Oh, there's Buddha. Remember, Buddha is a little bit more shy than Jimmy. There you go. You afraid of me? You're going to nibble me, huh? See? He's okay. Yeah, in a few weeks, he's going to be brave like Jimmy, too. He's got to grow into it, you know. At that age, he's he's small. He's vulnerable. He feels vulnerable. And there's Jimmy. Put my hand out to Jimmy. Oh, you're not scared at all, are you? Nope. Sure aren't. You're bossy. See, she's she's scared of Jimmy too a little bit. It's not just because it's not just humans. That's just how she is. Yeah, Jimmy just marked her. Jimmy just ex has exerted asserted dominance over her. Did you see that? Went right over her back and peed on her. Yeah, that's what they do. Those are rats. You know, yeah, they're not humans. See, Jimmy is not at all afraid of me. He's an alpha, he's brave. And look, if you want to get a rat that's more brave and uh, less, you know, more likely to come out and play with you, then yeah, the reality is you probably want to get a male alpha. That's that are, those are the rats that are gonna be friendlier, at least by human standards. Whereas a little girl like this, she's gonna be more shy. Will she go to me eventually? Yeah, probably. Oh that noise outside, that's those aren't rats, those are some birds or something. See, I try to go to her, she runs the other way. Okay. Alright, I'm not going to take this personally. Because it's not personal. It's literally not personal. She doesn't hate me. She doesn't hate Jimmy. Jimmy's her cage mate. She's timid. She's young. She's small. She's timid. That's how she's going to react.
and she's going to keep doing that as long as she doesn't feel safe. And as soon as she feels confident, she will let me pick her up. But not right now. Right. Oh, guess what? Look who's here. Hey, um, my little girl. That's Buddha. Jimmy's there. Oh, Buddha's going home. Why are you going home, Buddha? Oh, who knows? Yeah, but yeah, they know where their cage is. They just go home all by themselves when they're tired of exploring. Isn't that great? There you are. There's the other little girl. There's Annie. Oh, Annie. Remember, she was like hiding in the, ca in the cage at first, and she was in her safe place between the cages. And now she's found another safe place behind this thing, this bookcase. And she's in there. You know. She may spend the whole day there, and that's okay. Or maybe she'll decide to come explore further, or maybe even interact with me. I don't know. Every rat is different. Oh, there is a little ratty. She's on my desk. Who is that little ratty? Well, that's Annie. Annie the shy rat. Huh. So she was hiding in the cage, then hiding between the cages, and she was in her safe space behind the bookshelf. And now, look at Annie, she's on my desk with me. Uh -huh. she, oh, she went up there. Uh, I can't show you the screen, unfortunately. That's my work. There goes Annie. So Annie explored here a little bit. Now I guess she's she's gone. I don't know where she went. I thought I saw her poking her little nosy out. She's around here somewhere. These guys are quick, you know. So it's really hard to follow them. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if she's still here. Probably is. Let's see, I think I saw a little tail. Did I see a little tail? Is it just my imagination? Ah, there's little Annie. She likes that space in there. That probably feels safe for her. And there's Jimmy. There's Annie and there's Jimmy. Hi, guys. See? So, look, here's the thing. If you let these rats feel safe on their own, give them the space to feel safe, they will come out. And little by little, they'll start to creep closer and closer to you and interact with you. Because believe it or not, they don't hate you. They don't hate you. Yeah, they're a little afraid of you, but they're also curious, too. She doesn't have to go on my desk. She's got this whole room to explore. Why would she come here? Because, believe it or not, she is actually curious about me. She's curious, but she's scared. So she's kind of at war with her own feelings. But if I give her the chance, yeah, she comes here, came here, interacted with me a little. Now she's gone off and she's doing something else. And maybe later she'll come back again. 
I don't know. It's entirely up to her. I'm not demanding anything of her. I don't require her to act in any specific way for me to tolerate her and try to be her friend. I'm letting her be her. And I'm giving her a safe place to do that. You see, letting her go outside is a gift. She's enjoying herself. She's exploring. She's exercising. She's even curious about me. Although she's a little scared and timid. If I let her do this every day, for a couple of weeks, or however long it takes, eventually she'll realize that there's no need to be fearful of me anymore because I was never a threat to her and she always benefited positively from our interactions. This is nothing else to satisfy her own curiosity what humans are like. And there's Jimmy and there's Buddha. Hey, Buddha, Jimmy. Yeah, little girl's not here. I'll bet you she's She's hiding probably in here someplace. Run away. Yep, she was behind there. Thought so. So she's probably there. I see her. Um, oh, there she goes. All right, good. She's going home by herself. Oh no, she's in her little, in her safe place behind between the cages. And there she goes. Can you see her? going back home so I disturbed her so she went back home right there she is that's her spot there she goes there's Buddha there's Annie there's Jimmy right so they all went back home I mean I didn't even you know I was like yeah I'm gonna have to try to get her out but what does she do she just like basically ran all the way from there all the way back home all by herself Went back in her little hammock, and there she goes. Okay, and this is the, this is what it's actually like to have a pet roof rat. Okay, it's not. I mean, is is she wild? And Jimmy and Buddha aren't wild. No, they're different. These are a range of normal behaviors. Jimmy's very brave and pushy. Buddha's a little bit more shy. Uh, Annie is even more shy, right? She's more timid. Um, Buddha will probably get braver as he gets older, although I gotta say, I think Jimmy was always pretty brave. He was always kind of pushy. Um, and, uh, yeah. I'm gonna post these videos, and, you know, I hope that people learn something from this. Um, so... One thing I, you know, you should take away from this is if you, if you really want to get um, a roof rat that's going to be a quote-unquote good pet, and your definition of a good pet is one that you can take out and play with, and it'll interact with you and play with you, well, you'll probably want to get, um, you know, a dominant male, and you probably want to get an adult. That's just the fact. I'm sorry, you know? You, you'll say they, they want to get a female? Well, you know, all right, you can see what they're like. Um, that's just the way it goes. Anyway, bye-bye then.